Hello everyone. So our topic for today is cell. In this video, we are going to learn about the introductory part of the cell. We will study about the cell in much deeper way when we will step proceed with the chapter ahead. Okay, so in the coming videos, we will study more and more about cell. But this video only introduces the cell. Okay, now to understand the cell, let us look at the flow chart which I have shown here. What do you look here? The first thing that you look here is the letters, right? There are various boxes, the various colored boxes, and you find that in the first box there is letters, then words sentences, paragraphs, chapters and book. So what do you understand by looking at this? What thought comes to your mind? Okay, you may say that letters combine to form words, words combine to form sentences, sentences combine to form paragraphs, paragraphs combine to form chapters and chapters combine to form book. Yes or no? So the largest unit here is the book but the smallest one is the letter yes when letters will combine they will form words and when there will be many words it will form a sentence when many sentences will be there it will form a paragraph and when many paragraphs will combine they will form chapters and many chapters are present in a book so this is the structural organization of a book this shows how a book is made or how a book what a book comprises of right we will try to compare this organization to a living organism. Now living organism means everything that is living in the nature. It includes plants, it includes animals, it includes insects, it includes human beings, it includes microorganisms also because they are also living. So let us understand the structural organization in a living organism. Okay, now what do I mean by that? In the previous picture, you saw how a book is formed by the combination of letters, words, sentences, paragraphs and chapters. Now, how an organism is formed? Okay, now look here in the picture. You see the organism, a rat is being shown here. Yes, so... This is the organism that you see here. This is organism. Now, how is this organism formed? It is formed by the combination of various component or various parts. Okay, now the first, the smallest part, or you can say the smallest basis is the cell. Okay, of any living organism. When cell combine, it forms tissues. Okay, when many cells see here, there was one cell here. There was one cell here, but when many cells, see this, 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 when many cells combined, they form a tissue. When many tissues combine, see here, this tissue, can you see here? This tissue is here, see when tissue forms the organ, tissue forms the organ. And then many organs, there are, this is a stomach, yes, for example, this is a stomach. So you have various organs, heart is there and you have intestines. So when many organs will combine, they will form organ system. Can you see here? You have a, this organ system. There is intestine here, there is stomach and there are pancreas and all these things inside an organ system. Now when this, or, this is the digestive system of a rat, right? So when many organ system combine, now what do we mean by organ system? This is only the digestive system, means which carries out the digestive part. There is excretory system on the body which carries out the excretion in the, human, uh, in the living organism. There is respiratory system which is involved in breathing of your body. There is circulatory system which is involved with the circulation of blood in the body. So there are many organ systems in the body which combine to finally form a organism. So which is the smallest unit here, which was the smallest, there is nothing smaller than the cell. Yes, so cell is called as the, it is the basis of the structure and the function of all living organism and it is only with the help of cells that living organisms carry out different life processes 
okay so let us proceed ahead now if you see here this rat is a multicellular organism yes multicellular organisms and unicellular organism in multicellular organisms are the organisms which are made up of more than one cell yes and you also have unicellular organisms so let us see what happens in them but before that if i ask you a question what is the name of the minute components of which a body of a living organism is made so which is the smallest or the minute component of the body of a living organism it is nothing but a cell so henceforth i hope everyone knows what is the smallest component of the human body is yes so we saw an example of a rat in the previous uh, picture now let us see what happens in the unicellular organism so there is a question here where do the life processes of unicellular living organisms take place now there are various words here which you need to understand first thing if i talk about life processes what is the meaning of life processes life processes means the process of digestion circulation excretion and digestion all these are the various life processes that take place in an, in any living organism because of which it survives okay so all these things where does how, how will the digestion take place in a unicellular organism how will a circulation of blood take place in a unicellular organism how will respiration take place in a unicellular organism what is a unicellular organism children an organism which has only one cell whose entire body is made up of one cell see we have millions of cells in our body okay human being has millions of cells in our body but there are various unicellular organisms like this can you see in the picture paramecium amoeba bacteria and yeast these are the unicellular organisms why are they called as the unicellular organisms because they do not have various body parts like we do they all they are made up of only one cell this amoeba is all made up of entire one cell bacteria is made up of entire one cell so how will circulation digestion respiration everything take place here okay so what happens in unicellular organisms in unicellular organisms all life processes like reproduction feeding digestion etc take place in one cell so everything will happen in these cells only like we have special parts for uh, digestion we have special far, part of our body for reproduction we have special part of our body for excretion right but in unicellular organism this is not the case and hence they will carry out everything in one cell only okay so i hope you all have understood what is a cell and how does they how do they function in the multicellular and unicellular organism thank you